What's the funniest way you've outsmarted a teacher? I convinced my chemistry teacher that I had accidentally created a new compound during a lab experiment by mixing food coloring with water and claiming it was an unknown reaction, leading to three weeks of research before she realized I'd just made colored water. It started when I completely messed up a simple acid-base experiment that was supposed to turn clear solutions into predictable colors. Instead of following the proper procedure, I'd mixed random chemicals and somehow ended up with a bright purple liquid that wasn't supposed to exist according to our textbook. Mrs. Peterson came over to check my work and immediately got excited when she saw the purple solution. What did you add to get this color? She asked, looking genuinely puzzled. I panicked because I knew I'd done everything wrong, so I just said, I followed the procedure exactly as written. The problem was that the procedure I'd actually followed involved accidentally knocking over a bottle of food coloring into my beaker while trying to clean up my workspace. But Mrs. Peterson assumed I'd discovered some kind of unusual chemical reaction that wasn't in our curriculum. She took a sample of my purple liquid to analyze in the faculty lab, convinced that one of her students had stumbled onto something interesting. Meanwhile, I was frantically trying to figure out how to recreate my discovery without admitting I'd just made grape-flavored water. For the next week, Mrs. Peterson kept asking me detailed questions about my exact methodology. I had to get creative with my answers, claiming I'd added precisely measured amounts and used careful timing when in reality I'd just been clumsy with art supplies. The situation escalated when Mrs. Peterson decided to present my findings to the other science teachers during their weekly meeting. She was convinced that I'd accidentally created a compound that shouldn't exist according to basic chemistry principles and wanted colleagues to help explain the phenomenon. Three teachers spent their lunch break trying to reverse engineer my purple solution, testing different combinations of the chemicals I claimed to have used. They couldn't recreate the color, which only made them more convinced that I'd discovered something significant. Mrs. Peterson even suggested entering my research into the regional science fair, claiming that accidental discoveries often led to major scientific breakthroughs. I started imagining myself having to explain grape food coloring to actual chemists and judges. The truth came out when I finally couldn't handle the guilt anymore and confessed during class. Mrs. Peterson, I need to tell you something about my purple compound, I said, pulling out a bottle of food coloring from my backpack. This is what actually created the reaction. The look on her face was priceless, as she realized she'd spent three weeks trying to analyze colored water. The other students started laughing as they understood what had happened, and Mrs. Peterson just stood there holding my revolutionary discovery in a test tube. But here's the twist. Instead of being angry, Mrs. Peterson started laughing too. You know what, she said, this is actually a perfect example of why careful documentation and reproducible results are so important in real scientific research. She used my accidental deception as a teaching moment about the scientific method, explaining how real chemists verify their results and why peer review exists. My food coloring incident became a classroom legend about the importance of honest experimental procedures. Years later, I learned that Mrs. Peterson had suspected something was off from the beginning, but played along to see how far I'd take the charade. Turns out I didn't outsmart her at all. She outsmarted me by turning my dishonesty into an unforgettable lesson.